Alrighty, good morning everybody. So we have, yet again, uh, another workout. So this one, <laughs> I'm stuck doing on the treadmill. I could run out there, problem is it's hot too, with all the blind corners, it's gonna stink. And thirdly, um, my, my rows are not ideal for tempos, okay? It's either all uphill or all level or all downhill. With tempos, you kind of want to mix. At least if you ask me. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, so my m my routes are better for endurance runs, which is probably why, as, soon, as long as I get up early enough to avoid uh, all the dogs, I'll probably wake up early and do my recovery run of that tomorrow. And I'm trying not to drive as much because i got to save money. And an easy way for me to do that is not drive since I live 50 minutes from the nearest... Uh, town <laughs> or city or yeah no town so yeah we're doing the we're doing tempo on the treadmill today it's gonna be um gosh it was four to six eight minute tempos with three minute rests with the treadmill i only have an hour so i'm probably gonna do five so five by eight minutes is 40 minutes with three minute rest that's gonna be three times five is 15 so 55 minutes total on the treadmill so that works out perfect so i'm gonna do that there um yeah i'm just just gonna kind of have fun with this um un unlike my last tempo video i have not been dying out as much lately <laughs> and on the 25th so today's july 3rd so 22 days from now i have my three mile time trial um i'm still figuring out what old high school course i'm gonna run it on i'm gonna make it fun wear my wear my old high school uniform just to see how fast i can run three miles right now by myself unless i have someone with me but yeah, things are looking up on summer training so far. It's been it's been going good. But uh, yeah, so today's gonna be tempo treadmill workout. I'm gonna record it because uh, I've never done done this before, and I think it'd be good uh, good for the noggin to see how much perseverance I'm about to go through. And plus, I'll get to watch Mario Brothers while I run it, so that'll be nice. <laughs> So anyway, so first things first, we gotta do all our stretches, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna show myself probably doing the drills again. And then it's warm up, I'm gonna probably do warm up on the treadmill for today, just cause I wanna get used to it, and warming up on the treadmill will help me get in the mindset for it. And then drill block two, and then it's tempo time, so let's do this, and yeah, let's do it. Oh, and then it's the lunges. And then same. 
getting things back. And then one. So this is how I'm going to probably do the setup for when I do, do the actual tempo. Let's see, I did my stretching and drill one. So now we're going to do my, what is now 15 minute warm up. We've upgraded from 10 minute warm to 15 minute warm. So we're just going to go easy on it. Uh, here, for anyone who runs on a treadmill, all these minutes, eight miles per hour is, oh, looks like I put to the max. Is 730 mile pace okay so use that as your basis 10 miles per hour is six minute mile pace everything in between I think 8.6 miles per hour is like seven minutes 706 something like that so always um no like basis for your speed and then like every other is like six seconds off or whatever um like 8.1 is uh 7.4 and then it goes seven, uh, 718 for 8.2, it just goes up like six seconds. But 8.0 is 730 miles per hour. And that's usually my basis for like, okay, this is gonna be the easy pace. And then if I decide maybe a little slower, I'll go like 7.8, 7.5. Rarely though, I'll dip below 8.0 miles per hour, okay? And then when I'm getting to tempo territory, 10 miles per hour is usually my basis because that's six mile, six minute mile pace. And then we just go up from there. So I'll probably talk more about that with the tempo section, how I'm going to do it. But just know that for anyone who runs on treadmills. So with that, let's get going. And I have not started my movie yet. I'm saving that all for the tempo. And hopefully, hopefully it motivates me. But anyway, so we'll do this for 15 minutes. It's 9.35 right now, so 9.50 will be good. And yeah, that will be real too. And then boom, it's time to time. So let's do Alright, so just so I'm keeping myself honest, 15 minute warm up ended up being 1.98, so my treadmill might be a tiny bit off, but it's all good. But yeah, good warm up. Now we're gonna do drill two, and then it's tempo time. And then you gotta do like some you need a chest right after it. So that All right, and then All right, so before I begin, I'm just gonna talk about my plan of attack. Yeah, I'm gonna wear an extra sense. Uh, why, you ask? One, I like them, they're comfy. 
the two, I was talking with Daniel Correa, and for those who've seen him on camera, you know he's uh, All-State, ninth all-time at Wilbur Park for Hartnell with uh, 2037, the idea of how fast those for a four-mile course. 2040 would be 510 pace, so he barely went sub-10, sub-510 pace. <laughs> And that's, uh, that's pretty fast. He's going about 509 point something, okay? And Danny, I consider, I consider a high inspiration in many ways. One of the things he really told me was that he uses temp. So he's going to go to University of St. Mary NAIA. My personal motivation is that I'm going to get to nationals and get a race against him. Okay, I've only raced him as a teammate, never as a rival. Or a team rival, I should say. But anyway, um, he says he uses his tempos or his neck percents for all his tempos to protect his feet and he says it's also what they're made for so i'm like you know this is going to be the first season first cross country season where i have access to tempos all season why not make use of them so for this one i'm going to use them and here's my plan on the progression okay keep my tempos you're not like oh going all out this and that you want to just go at what is faster than race pace, which I have done every single time, but only a few have gone well. Okay, and but more, more are gonna, more are to come that are gonna go well. What I'm gonna first do, using my whole, remember how I did my whole talk on basis of miles per hour and all that. I'm gonna go, what you call it, 10.0 miles per hour first, at six minute mile pace. I'm holding just two seconds slower than my average pace for Mission 10 my freshman year. Since I'm going to do a total of five, I'm going to do that for the first two, okay? I'm going to just do that for the first two, get get kind of as my warm. The next two, I'm going to increase by 0 0.2 miles each time. So it's going to go 10.2 and then 10.4, okay? So it's kind of a slow progression, but I think it worked. Then the last one, I'm going to go 10.6 to 10.9. I'm going to in increase that throughout the tempo, okay? And no, not 10.9, 10.8, 10.8, okay? Because I don't want to, because 11 miles per hour, I believe it's 527 mile pace, I don't want to be too close to that. So 10.6, 10.8. So that's what I'll probably do. My idea behind it is I'm kind of showing my body, hey, we're getting back into it slowly. Back into Peter, and I'm Beely. I want this to be a organ that makes me like, how should I say it? Breathe and tuck, but not like dying. Okay, and I think this is the best way to do that. Progress into it so that the final one, even though it's best and the other one, be like, oh, I feel so good. So, yeah, that's my plan. Um, we'll see if it works. And otherwise, let's go do it. Otherwise, we'll put a monitor boat, just have a treadmill set the camera, and let's do this. <laughs> Anyways, the rest, and 10 points. There we go. 
That's um that's the workout. I you know what that actually went really good. I was uh nervous about it. <laughs> I uh, thought I was gonna die out or peter out or something. But uh, you know it actually went pretty good. Um I was glad to evade the 95 degree heat. That's how hot it was when we first began. And now it's uh, 102 right now. So I'm I'm cool with avoiding all that. Uh I, the trade off was I had to treat the tempo a lot like a like a 10k on the track but you know it went good i felt strong uh, i felt relaxed and i felt like i could hold it yeah i'm a little sweaty but i kind of went on lack of ventilation <laughs> but anyways yeah it was um it was a good run i'm happy with that i feel good and so now the plan is let's keep this going um been having a lot better tempos lately since i've been able to do them earlier uh i'm not having to work a whole day before I do them so that's kind of saving my legs and my body so let's just keep this up my main point is just not have to do all I don't mind doing long runs on, t on the treadmill I like it stinks but you know you gotta do what you gotta do um, but tempos and speed work I kind of like doing outside because it kind of shows me more of my ability I feel like but hey I'll, I'll do whatever I gotta do to make sure I'm set for this season as well as financially for the school year but yeah, I think uh, I think this was a really good tempo. I'm happy with how it went. So now let's just keep it going. The rest of this week, I don't think I have any more tempos. I think I got some strides and some hill sprints. But otherwise, my main the main workout I'm looking well not workout time trial I'm looking forward to is on the 25th. I'm gonna do a three mile time trial. Still figuring out where I'm gonna do do that. I'm either gonna pull a three mile course or do an old high school course. So with that, 
Um, that's today's tempo. And otherwise, rest today is just going to be relax, do homework for my summer class, and probably do a double layer as well as a band work session. So with that, let's uh, keep training to a, a big breakout season. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for your time.